Imagine this. You're suspended hundreds of meters above the ground. Only a safety harness stands between you and a fatal fall. This isn't an extreme sport, it's just another day on the job for wind turbine engineers. Across the world, wind turbines are growing bigger and taller, some towering as high as a 35-story skyscraper. Keeping these colossal machines running smoothly requires constant maintenance. It's a job that demands precision, courage, and experience. From installation to painting and repairs, technicians must work at dizzying heights, exposed to freezing cold, scorching heat, and powerful winds. And yes, there's always the risk of electric shock. But the hardest part to reach? The blades. Engineers must dangle 70 meters in the air just to repair them, swaying with the wind. Tools in hand. In the US, these engineers typically earn between $50,000 and $70,000 a year. But here's a question you might have asked. Why do turbine blades spin so slowly? Just 10 to 20 rotations per minute. Can that really generate power? Surprisingly, yes. Each blade can stretch up to 80 meters long. So even at low RPMs, the tips can reach speeds of 200 kilometers per hour. And each blade can weigh up to 20 tons. If they spun too fast, the centrifugal force could literally rip the turbine apart. That's why engineers design the blades to rotate at optimal speeds, balancing efficiency and safety. And when storms approach, the turbine can automatically adjust its blade angles, protecting itself from destruction. This isn't just engineering, it's innovation at dizzying heights.